What's up, peeps? This will be the uh, first installment of Viking Baking 101. Um, this is my niece, Faith, who begrudgingly is wearing a breastplate right now, even though she really doesn't want to. And it's fine, because quite honestly, we have nothing else to do. <laughs> so this is happening. Uh, I've made bread many times before, but the whole point of this is to show somebody who has never made bread that they can, in fact, do this. So I'm going to step back and I'm going to let Faith do it. I'm just going to read out the instructions. You're going to need three cups of flour. That's a larger measuring cup in there. tablespoon of salt. Oops, sorry, teaspoon. Teaspoon of salt. That sounds like a lot of salt. Yeah, teaspoon. Okay. And three tablespoons of sugar. Two and one third tablespoons of yeast. You said a tablespoon? Yep. So those are the dry components. So we're going to get those off to the side. No, no. These. Oh. All right. Now, you're going to mix in one egg. And you're going to mix in three tablespoons of oil. So, you're going to throw that in with one hand, I'll hold the bowl for you, slowly, and then you're going to uh, grab the scully there, and you're going to keep mixing it. Okay. Okay. And you fold in from the sides to the middle. Less like stirring eggs and more like folding it over. Here. All that stuff on the sides, you gotta keep cutting it to the middle. Keep rotating your bowl.
back in there. So there's an additional two cups of flour in here. As you see, let's uh, show everybody here at this point. It's pretty goopy, and that's cool. So you're gonna keep stirring. Try to get all the lumps out. We're just gonna keep adding it. Little by little, from the, the outside in. Can I just show you? Mm -hmm. right. So with folding, it's not like stirring an omelet. You want to try to get it all towards the middle. Because um. there's all that wet surface underneath. You want to try to get all that flour in too. And you see it's already starting to be less smearable. If you treat it like an omelet, then you're just kind of smearing it. Oh, okay. You want to fold it over. You're supposed to be doing this. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. yeah. Get underneath it, keep flipping it over. an extra cup and a half of flour. Yeah, I suppose we could put a little bit more in there. A little dough is gone. Alright. Get the end of the spoon now. Take all that away. See it's starting to dry out. Mm -hmm. So now get your hands in there. They have been properly washed, by the way. We went through this. <laughs> okay. And now keep flipping it over into the flour. Get right under it. Whole thing. All the way under. See, it's all stringy. Mm -hmm. Don't separate it stringy like that. Try to clump everything together. Lose it. <laughs> no. from underneath. Don't separate with your <laughs> fingers. Grab the whole thing. There you go. Now flip it over and push it down with your, with your knuckles. Oh. Yeah. There you go. Same thing. Fold it over. Let's get a little bit closer to the camera right now so we can see what's going on. See, it's starting to look a little more doughy. Yeah, see, that's why you don't separate your fingers while you're doing it. Okay, get into the flour. Into the flour. Push down. Okay, now grab from the bottom, flip it over.
same thing, grab from the bottom, flip it over. Okay. When you push down, try to use your knuckles instead of your fingers so it doesn't separate. Notice it's not really sticking to my hands. All right, wipe your hands off first and then we'll continue, okay? All right, while she's washing her hands again, we'll soap. And throw down a little bit of flour onto the counter. We're going to take this massive pile of dough and we're going to flatten it out. Now we're just going to keep folding it over until it's good and dry because you'll find that there's still sticky parts to it and you want to get those into the flour. kneading. You see it's good. Parts of it are dry, parts of it are still a little tacky. Mm -hmm. So what you want to do is throw it in there like that, and then grab an edge, flip it over. Oh, so it's like pizza dough. Yeah, you use yeah. your palms and you push all that air out. Same thing. And you just keep flipping it over and get the flour into it. You got to push hard, get all that air out. There you go. No fingers. Sorry. Use, use your palms. There you go. Flip it over. Put the whole thing over into the flour. Take a little bit of oil, put it in the pot. You don't need a lot. Just take a little bit of big toe and increase the entire inside of the pot. Are you supposed to do this? Oh, until it feels dry. Mm -hmm. It'll feel dry, and you like the more air you push out of it, uh, the the fluffier it's going to end up being. And when I was a kid, and I used to do this because I, I was always making my own bread. Uh, my bread was you should you could feed an army with it because it was a brick. It was so dense. The outside was crispy and fluffy, and then just that little bit in the inside was always still kind of doughy. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, you're doing good.
we'll get you the recipe for these at some point too. These are actually black bean brownie. What happens if you overneed the dough? Um, it becomes relatively unusable. Yeah. Is it good? Let me see. That is not bad, actually. Just gonna finish that off. You're making a mess. Yeah, you really want to start that? Pandemic or not, I will feed you with a freaking container full of butter. There we go. So you should be able to push on it right here and you, you get a little bit of spring back because there's no air left in it. And you'll notice when you should stop kneading is when it stops going together. So now we're gonna make a ball. Nice uniform ball. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna take this ball and we're gonna put it in a pot. Now we're gonna take and we're gonna flip it over. Make sure there's oil on all surfaces. And we have a ball of dough. Greasy. And then we're going to take the skull, because we're awesome like that. <laughs> we're going to put it over top. And we're going to leave it sit on top of the stove. The first the reason we do that is because it needs the yeast needs time to activate and it'll double in size basically. And uh, we'll come back and we'll do another video on uh, how to knead it because that process that we just did, we're going to need to do that like three times. <laughs> so the first one is an hour, I believe. So we'll come back in an hour and push all the air out of it. Add a little bit more flour as we go, turn it over. And uh, then we're going to come back and do it again. You were a ridiculous child, you know that? Yeah. Okay, just, just throwing that out there. <laughs> All right, you want to hit stop or say bye to the piece?